Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwame Yasha Allah, Koholo Imla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to state the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's um, edifying by the Spirit. And it was just something that I was um, meditating on today. You know, I was um, at the plantation, you know, kind of be driving around, um, you know, as far as my job. And I hit a lot of, I guess, you know, I, I guess you can call them affluent um, neighborhoods, you know, people of money. You know, a lot of um, the damn Palestinians or Arabs, you know, I was in their area today. And, um, you know, just generally Esau in, in general. And and when it comes to America, all the 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 you know even amongst Jake, I would have to say even amongst the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, there's a, a few, you know, there's there's a nice um, amount of our people that that has a little something, you know, they live in some live in gated communities, some live in you know they live in pretty okay decent, you know what I'm saying, but not like how Esau is. They're not living like how Esau is. Now you you know you go to places like Dubai, you know and all these different places, you know, you go to um like um China, all these different nations of people. Matter of fact, the the ones that's named off in Psalms chapter eighty three, which are the enemies of the Lord. Those people have um um uh, uh you know a great amount of wealth, but in the meanwhile, and, and they actually have you know militaries and countries, you know um landmass resources and everything else to go with it. See our people that have a little bit of money. They're just kind of kicked back and relying on Esau, you know, because it's Esau's money. Esau's face is on the money, you know, as far as our people, wherever our people are at, that have a little bit of change, a little money, wherever they're living, they're actually living at the, you know, you know, off the so-called white man, so to speak. We don't have our own currency. We don't have our own, you know, landmass. You know, we're, we're just scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And just so happen to have some okay, decent jobs. You know, some of our people are entertainers, you know. You got the basketball players, NFL players, you know, tennis players, you know, um, things of that nature. You know, so our people, you know, they're doing pretty good, but it's actually from it's Esau's money. I put it that way. Now, so as you can see right here, and I was just kind of meditating on this today as I was driving. I'm like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying... You know, all kinds of extravagant cars, you know, Lamborghinis, you know, just, you know, just. And this is, you know, not even far away from where I live at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm 20 miles out either way. You can go towards the direction of these people really living it up, man. Houses, you know, that's, you know, I can put my my house in that in one of their houses three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, man. You know, some of their garages look, you know, are the size of my house. Bigger than my um house, but you know, here's a list. I kind of um put off in here. I I'll put in trillionaire. Of course, you know that they're not going to show you that, but there were a few people that they did um, mention as being trillionaires in the world. Um, which I can go back on that list, but I have this list right here. It says the current top ten richest people in the world, Jeff Bezos. Um, they're saying it is network, and I'm not sure how long ago this was, so because you know they could be well, well past this, or they could have done dropped some. But Jeff Bezos, it says, um, he has 177 billion dollars. That's the guy that owns um Amazon. Elon Musk, they have him at 151 billion. You know, of course, he owns Tesla. They have um Bernard Arnault and family, 150 billion. That's um you know Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. Bill Gates, 124 million billion. Microsoft, Mark Zuckerberg, 97 billion. Facebook, Warren Buffett, 96 billion. Ber Berkshire Hathaway, Larry Ellison, 93 billion. Oracle Corporation, Larry Page, 91 billion. Alphabet Incorporated, Sergey Ben, 89 billion. Alpha Alphabet Incorporated, and Mukesh Abani, Reliance Industries at 84 billion. And, you know, they, you know, they have all kinds of pictures, billionaire clubs, you know what I'm saying? Same people, you know, but I put in here what I typed in. Let's see. Oh, let me go back to all. 
But yeah, I put uh, typed in, you know, um, are there are there trillionaires? Of course, you know, they said no. But we know that there are trillionaires out here. They're just not going to mention them. See, these people that they're talking about are the richest people. Their welfare cases all together put together. All of them put together is not worth more than some of um, the Rothschilds and things of that nature, man. They're not going to mention these people, though. But they did have a list of six people who are six who are the six trillionaires. Now these go back um to ancient times, so to speak. They have um Genghis Khan, um they have Zou Yu, if I'm pronouncing that right, Akbar the Great, um Admin Hoptip the Third, Augustus Caesar, King Solomon. We we already know King Solomon was our king was getting it. Uh, Mansa Musa. So they they did, I guess uh, you know, had these men been living right now or the of the days and time, even back then they were trillionaires. So that that was incredible. That was wealth beyond what you could have ever even imagine. And I really think that King Solomon would be at the top of all those men, anyway. You know, because the scriptures talks about that. But anyway, what got me on that? So let's just go into some scriptures. But, you know, I was just kind of riding. I'm sitting at this light and I'm just looking around and I'm like, God damn, you know, but, you know, it kicked in. You know, hey, we, we can't uh, fret or we can't be envying these people, man. Fuck those people. They they What they have is nothing compared to what's to come in in, in our future, man. And we, we, are, we hold tight, you know, and we um, are, you know, the Lord had mercy on us and we, we get one of those crowns and one of those new bodies, man. Hey, you know, on that first go for sure, especially hey, it's going to be we're going to be on top, man. The nation of Israel going to be back on top for sure, for sure. And the wealth of the world, we're talking about galaxies, man. You know, we're talking about our father. He owns he created all the shit that you can see. I mean, so like you don't mean to say it like that, but he created everything that you can see around you. You know, see these people that, you know, they have, you know, little wealthy mansions and little, you know, landmass and stuff like that, which belongs to the Lord as well. But our father, you know, he created the sun. He created this entire planet and the other planets that's out there, galaxies, stars, you know, everything that 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 you can possibly dream of. The Lord, our father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh created it, man. So, you know, he created it through. Our Lord and Savior, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know, um, Yahweh Shai. Okay, but let's get this real quick, right? I'm going to start from the top here. It's entitled Security of Those Who Trust in the Lord and Insecurity of the Wicked. Verse 1, a Psalm, Psalms 37 and 1, a Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. See, we're not supposed to be fretting. We're not supposed to be um, envious of because these are all evildoers. They're all wicked as hell. None of them got all that, you know, their wealth, you know, um, especially the Esau. You know, Esau, the so-called white man, you know, he, 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 you know, he, he, you know how he got down. I'm going to keep it classy. You know how he got down out here. And the NLT, it says, don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. Verse two, it says, for they. Shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in Yahweh and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. And that's, hey, that's what, that's what we're, you know, we're on right there, man. Trusting on Yahweh by Shemiah was That's what you're supposed to be doing. Because a lot of our people, they are um, falling to the, falling to the dollar, man. They're going out here. And they're basically, you know, selling themselves, you know, just selling themselves short, man, and going the wicked way by trying to um, increase or trying to come up in this man's kingdom, which is going to be shut down. This whole kingdom is going to be shut down. So all the fighting that they're doing for them couple of little dollars, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, man, that, that shit is it's not going anywhere, man. You know, but like I said, again, it did make me I'm looking around. I'm like, you know, like, but the scripture kicked in, man. So all praises to Yahweh by Shimei was shy, man, because you last thing you want to do is get caught up in this man's world and his 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 monopoly money. You know, that people do all these things, you know, just sell all con just sell all out, man, for this money, man. You you know, you, you ah, it's just ugly. It's an ugly system, man. Here you go, you can have a daughter. 
that, you know, she wakes up in the morning, she kisses you on the cheek, you know, she's going into the refrigerator, grabbing orange juice out, you know, um, mom is at the stove, you know, making pancakes and shit, you know what I'm saying, the dad is sitting there drinking his coffee, and what they don't know is she's about to go about her day and, and be wicked as hell for some money, and they don't even know she's a complete slut bucket, complete whore, you know, or, you know, just doing something that they never would have thought that she would be doing, you know, on the low low. That sweet little girl, you know, or their sweet little daughter, you know, she's, you know, 18, she's 19. You know, a lot of them, they in college, they still at home. They don't even know. I'm just, you know, I'm talking about just from that simple aspect. Like, they don't even know, like, when she closes the door, she kisses mom on the cheek, you know, hey, bye bye, mom, have you, have you, okay, dad, and all that other shit. She jumps in the car. And she already has her day planned out from the night before, you know what I'm saying, where she's stopping here, she's stopping there, and she's doing this, and she's doing that, man, OnlyFans this, OnlyFans that, this going on over here, this going on, she might have be, you know, um, a drug mule, whatever the case may be, I'm just saying for simple, you know, just a simple thing, you know, how people get down, and, and a lot of people don't, you know, they, they, they do, they try and hide it, but the Lord knows. Man, it's just, you know, that's the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because our people, man, are out here doing all manner of shit for this man's money. Jake out here, you know, selling their own people out. Jake out here jumping into commercials. You know, Jake was out here, you know, just taking a bag for anything. Anyway, now, like I said, again, you know, I was kind of, you know, I was sitting at that light and I was like, God damn, you know, I'm just looking at all the cars passing all the newer stuff, you know what I'm saying, I'm just, you know, you kind of get to thinking like, man, well, you know, it's, damn, you know, you, you do get to thinking like that, because matter of fact, let's get, um, let's get this real quick, Psalm 73, right, verse 3, it says, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, see, you kind of be like, god damn, you know, let's get this word envious real quick, too, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to get off into that, man. Just, hey, let him have it. It's, I mean, the Hebrew is Quana, Qua, Quana, H7065. It says envy, to, to be jealous, be envious, be zealous. Uh, let me see. Let's go here. Quana, Quana, a primitive root to be causatively make zealous in a bad sense, jealous or envious. You know, almost to the point of being covetous as well. You know what I'm saying? You know, wanting to have what they have. You know, you're just looking at it like, well, damn, you know, but you don't know how they got there to get it. You don't know what they went through to get it. They done some shit that you shouldn't be doing to get stuff like that. A lot of our people, you know, they, you know, that's out here in the, um, the actress, actors world, you know, um, as far as movies, um, just that celebrity shit, you know, trying to be famous, that rap world, that R&B world, you name it, man, with our people. They have done some things, you know, I'm telling you, man, I'm, a lot of them, man, it's men that's been, been bent over desks. Here you go, you you know, you you thinking your sweet little wife, she, she's the most loveliest thing in the world, man. She is under a desk, you know, under a desk, you know, you know, zipping down. You know what I'm talking about. She comes home, you don't even know that, that you know. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's it's a nasty situation, man, or what the, the things that our people do for um the wealth of this man's country, man, you know, falling in behind Esau, Edom, that's why, uh, let's get this real quick, just Micah 2 and 10, so you have to just rely on your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, we're, we're definitely in the last days where people are about to show you what their, what their real get down is like, you know, do they, a lot of these people are going to be Christians. They're going to show you if they really believe in the Lord or not. But, you know, of course, we we already know Christianity, um, that white supremacist plantation Christianity, all of them going to take the chip. They're going to all, they gonna all you know, take that thing, man. Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. So this place is polluted. You got to come out of the mindset of this place. You got to come out of this... You know, because our people, man, I'm telling you, man, they work themselves to the bone. There's people like our people out here working two jobs, three jobs, you know, just to have that newest car, you know, that newest outfit, the newest shoes, the newest purse, the newest this, newest that. Now, the people that I seen today, 
you know, in these affluent neighborhoods that I'm going to and seeing, they're not working two, three jobs for that shit. They able to just go buy that shit and 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 and, and they really have it. It's no problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem for them, you know. I'm looking, you know, they got the newest Bentley, the newest, you know. It's not a problem. They just buying it. You know, they able to, you know, um build their son and daughter a house, you know, have these lavish weddings, you know what I'm saying? Have a, a, a you know, it's like give them a damn house for for the wedding gift with a, you know, a million, two, three million, whatever amount in their bank account to get them going, get them started. Here you go, Jake, you know, shit, renting a house and, and getting married in debt. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But you had to come out of the mindset of this place because this is not our rest. This is not our rest, man. We're, this is not our place. We're we're actually on, on, on punishment right now. You know, we're in captivity, man. But man, oh man, the, the scripture talks about how we can't even imagine what the Lord is going to do for us, man. You see? But let me go off into, um, I'm going to end out here in a sec. I'm not going to keep this one long. I just seen that, but I wanted to go up to the Apocrypha real quick. So lock you. Let's get the Apocrypha. Second address, uh, chapter six. Let's let's get down to um. I'm gonna start at fifty four. Point is at uh, fifty nine though. It says, and after these, Adam also, whom the whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, and of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So we all come from Adam. You had these Christians say that. We're all one. We all uh, one race, the human race. We all bleed red. You hear them say all that craziness, man. But let's get what the Lord, you know, what the scriptures is saying. All of this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh. Because thou made us the world for our sake. See, he made the, the world for our sake. Everything that you see around you, man, this whole thing is made for the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. So these people that are nothing have everything, though. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So these people are compared to, you know, a drop of water, man, you know, that 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 fell out of a cup. You know, you stumbling, you know what I'm saying? You might stumble, you spill a little bit of water. You know, you might, you know, you're walking with a mop bucket or something, you know, you you know, a little water spill out of there. You're not worried about that little water, man. But the Lord said they're like spittle. But guess what? This is their kingdom. They're, they, you know, especially Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. This is his kingdom. He's living lavishly. And that goes off into, um... The blessing that Isaac blessed him with, he blessed him with the gift of the sword, and he gave him the fatness of the land for his blessing. So he's living that blessing. That sword, he he's constantly throughout the earth. He's, you know, has taken every goddamn thing with, with his nuclear might, his military might. He's constantly, he's 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 at war right now. See? Here, here you go. We're just some some poor. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans going to going to work every day, punching in, punching out. And at the end of the week, the so-called white man is taking taxes for us to send to Israel right now. You know, they're taking taxes every every check. But we don't have no say as to where that money is going. At 14, they about to give them $14 billion. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, whether you agree with it or not, they're giving uh, your money, the money that they take from you. For taxes, they're giving it to these people. You have no no say in it. You see? Okay, so it says, as for the other people, I mean, where are we at? Yeah, let's go back to fifty six. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and like, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing, which means that they've always been nothing to the Lord, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So they're, they're lords over us. They're devouring us. We just work, 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 work. These people, man, they, they able to pop up. They able to jet set. They able to go and get on a yacht. They able to go to this country, go to that country, you know, um, have an apartment and, you know, a penthouse over here, uh, a summer house over here, a winter house down here, a fall house over here, 
you know, a mansion, you know, a yacht, you know, you know, they just out here living it up, man. Right? Verse 58, it says, Well, we thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, we are his firstborn, his only begotten, and thy fervent lover are giving into their hands. So we're in the hands of these, these heathen, man. But this is the point right here, verse 59. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? This is what Edris wanted to know. I was I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know, like how long is this shit going go up, go go on, man? I mean, you know, hey, I mean, you know, that's how I got to the point of doing this lesson. But let's get verse nine here though, because this is what the end result is gonna be. Second Edges 69. For East. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See, so that, that, so you can clearly see their world is is phasing out right now. They they about to blow each other to smithereens, and then the Lord gonna come and finish them on finish them on off anyway. You know, but this list of people right here, Slokia. Yeah. Where's that list of people at again? Or did I come out of it? This list of people, and these are just, you know, like I said again, these are, you know, they're they're billionaires, but and they have bunkers, you know, a lot of them got them bunkers, but hey, they going directly into captivity. They're gonna be snatched up out of them bunkers, and it is what it is, man. It just is what it is. They 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 gonna get snatched up out of them bunkers, and they're gonna be the very first of the um slave um crop, man, so to speak. So I mean, hey, all we have to do is be patient, wait on the Lord. That's it, man. So I just wanted to just, you know, do something on this real quick. Don't, you know, don't fret. Don't envy. Don't covet. You know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about it. Just kick back. And when you see it, just know that, you know, that shit ain't nothing what they have, man, compared to what's to come. The, the, the reward that comes with this troop, man, is that nothing can compare to it on this planet right now, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.